And how's it going guys, Joshua Lefemi here. I'm gonna do a quick video talking about bit rates. I'm sure a lot of you guys have exported video out of Premiere before and you've put all the usual settings. You've maybe made your video export out with a H.264 codec, maybe an MP4 container. You of course set the resolution perfectly, but you may have skipped over a very important part of the exporting process, which is setting the bit rate. I'm gonna go over that. What is a bit rate? Well, first a bit is defined as the smallest amount of data on a computer and the bit rate is the rate per second at which bits are transmitted to an output. In general, a higher bit rate will accommodate a higher image quality, and a lower bit rate will result in a lower image quality. Now what's important to consider when you're determining the bit rate that you're going to use is the resolution that you're exporting and the frame rate that you're exporting. The higher the resolution and the higher the frame rate, the higher that the recommended bit rate will be to get you an adequate image quality. And guess what? The internet has made it easy for you. There is a list provided below that will actually tell you exactly what the bit rate you're going to need depending on the resolution or the frame rate that you're using. If you're watching this video, you're probably a video editor and Envato Elements is a video editor's dream. It's a subscription service that gives you unlimited downloads of the most incredible stock footage like cloud and fog overlays, aerial footage, fire, lightning. They also have incredible VFX packs, Premiere and After Effects templates, sound effects, royalty-free music, and literally anything you could ever want as a video editor. Just by clicking the link below, you will automatically get a free first month. You'll see that coupon for the free first month at the very, very end after you've finished signing up. And that's it. I use Elements literally in some regard every day. There is a list provided in the link below that will actually tell you exactly what the bit rate you're going to need depending on the resolution or the frame rate that you're using. All right, so let's take a look. And for the frame rate, I'm going to be assuming that you're probably going to be exporting a standard frame rate like 24, 25 or 30 frames per second. If you're exporting 4K, which is 2160p, you're going to want 44 to 56 megabits per second. If you're exporting 1440p, you're going to want 20 megabits per second. If you're exporting 1080p, you're going to want 10 megabits per second. And if you're doing 720p, 6.5 megabits per second. And then the lower resolutions, the lower megabits per second that you're able to use. All the megabits per second that we mentioned would be applied to the target bitrate slider. As far as the maximum bitrate slider, that's basically just telling Premiere what is the absolute maximum that Premiere is able to bump the bitrate to when there's parts of the footage where there's a little bit more accurate and more information that needs to be captured. In general, I like to bump that to twice my target bitrate. So if I have my bitrate at 10 megabits per second, I'll put my maximum bitrate to 20 megabits per second. This is of course assuming that you're gonna be using VBR, which is variable bitrate to pass in bitrate encoding. All VBR to pass does is it makes your export more efficient. It optimizes the bitrate so that it makes a smaller file size with about the same quality as the one pass using the same settings. I got two extra videos for you to watch right here. And remember to get your free month of Envato Elements by clicking the link below in the description. And lastly, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.